Hello, 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 and welcome to our Dungeons and Dragons game. Um, before I hop in this voice chat um, with the rest of my D&D group, I just wanted to preface today's uh, Dungeons and Dragons shoot by saying that we are going to switch around Wednesday streams for Dungeons and Dragons. So um, as you can see, I'm not wearing a, uh, I'm not like uh, on cam today. This is because I want to be able to kind of relax a little bit more as I play my D&D game. As you can, I, as you guys can see, we're also in emote only mode today, which I've never actually done an emote only stream. Um, and this is because I usually absolutely adore talking to chat. Um, however, because Dungeons and Dragons is such a concentration based type game, um, and it requires like a lot of just, I wonder if, uh, oh no, I guess she's not, um, Sorry, I thought one of my friends was streaming, but she's actually not. She was in the self-promo earlier today, not now. Um, so yeah, I'm in emo, emo only chat today just because I really wanted to um, stream D&D and help include you guys in this process. But sorry for the echo there. I'm just uh, pulling up some of my friends who are also going to be streaming. And those guys are in the titles if you want to check them out. Um... Let me see. All right. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the D&D chat here and hopefully get started pretty soon. Um, you guys are welcome to stick around. Hey, Luke. <laughs> Hi. I'm so, I know. I know. I'm in emo oh, um, oh, only chat mood today. And as I was explaining earlier, this is just because I really want to um, get in and focus on the game here. So we're going to hop in this D&D chat and I will be a little bit quiet, but this is because I just want you guys to be able to kind of like focus on the game if that's what you're interested in here for. Um, and you guys are welcome to <laughs> send me emojis, which thank you, Luke, for being here. I really appreciate you guys. All right. Um, let's get in here and we will... Uh, start our D&D. &D. Hey, Hello. Just so you guys know, I am streaming right now. Um, I am streaming too. Okay, you are. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll pull you up. Um, oh, perfect. Yeah, I just wanted to... I decided to do an emo only chat because I was having a lot of trouble, like... Basically, what would happen is, like, I would have a lot of trouble, like, focusing on the game and chatting at the same time. So, I turn it on emote only. So, maybe, like, I can still stream D&D, but not necessarily, like, be chatting all the time throughout it, you know? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Hello, Mac. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> eating some fruit, so don't mind me. Oh, you're totally fine. That sounds really good. What kind of fruit are you eating? It was blackberries, blueberries, grapes, strawberries, peach, I want to say, it, uh, an apple. Ooh, that sounds nice. Honestly, fruit is so good. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure if Alice is coming today. Cause she's she's going through some fucking bullshit with her medical leave. Oh, okay. Yikes. That sucks. Yeah, that does really suck. Ooh. So it should just be us, right? Guys... We're only missing Alice. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Here, I want to show you something. Something really cool. It's called a seaboard. A seaboard? Yeah. It's called a seaboard. So basically what it is, is it's a keyboard, but the entire keyboard is tactile. Oh. So you can do... Huh. Isn't that awesome? I mean, that is kind of cool, but I don't know how I would ever use it, like, me personally. This is for, like, people who want to make music. Right, right, right. 
That is pretty awesome, though. That is interesting. Like, that is... I saw that, I was just like, oh. Did I show you the video of, uh... Um, the robot? I don't think so. Oh, you gotta watch this. Um... Right back, just taking stuff out. My god. Alice! I literally Hello. can't tell, like, what Hello. those emotes are. I was are. just about to message you back. Thanks for all the Hi. love, Mac. I'm about to try to pressure you to play if you're not, like... Welcome to the club, buddy. Feel it today, because all the bullshit. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> thank you for the it's follow! Bullshit, it's just got me frustrated. Bitch! I, I gonna never like stop to loving you, session, bitch. You know? Thanks for the right. emotes. What's I'm up? KCUFT population. Find it, find it neck. Sorry, let me turn the others down so you guys can, like, for Give sure hear me over money. them. Right. Give me your fucking <laughs> money. <laughs> it's okay. Alice, I want to see you act like... Griffin and just throw people across the room in anger. Yeah, let's oh, not. I, I don't think she's gonna be able to. <laughs> Thank you so I much for the love. People, but... Do it. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Sage, I'll show you the. Uh, I'll show you this. It's so cool. Ooh, okay. And the music that was created for it was amazing. This is an advertisement, by the way, is for a robotics company. Oh, okay. Oh, so Max told me to tell... Alright, so Max said... Uh, Paul Buster is quiet on stream and Sam Lord's not working. I'm not talking. Oh. Uh, I can... Alright, I'll try myself then. Alright, so anyway, yeah. uh, last Sorry, session... I wasn't, I wasn't talking. Sorry, I'm eating some chocolate. <laughs> no, I got you. So last session, you guys were wanting to head into the city and see what that was like. Right? Again, so, right. Yeah. So, I think it would only be fair for me to, uh, Kind of start this off in the bedroom with, uh... King. Oh my god! I was, uh, I was, I was getting to that. <laughs> Give me a minute. I just wanted to go over... Make yes, sure please. ...what the plans were. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Last session. Let's definitely do that. Uh, yes. Each, each of you are in your respective bedrooms inside the... Uh, Cedar Heart home. Old tree. Uh, yeah, you think, I guess they, they refer to it as a tree, as it is. Mm hmm. That would make um, sense. So, people that didn't have the pleasure of already having a bedroom here, like Emaru and Thela, uh, the druid, um, Thela's father provided leaf beds and cozy blankets that her mother makes and sometimes sells in the market. Um, so yes, Maru, you wake up very sore, but very happy. Yes. Yes. Fela, they left your bedroom the exact same because, well, you just kind of left. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> They have a bit of an issues now. <laughs> you gave your family a bit of an issues. Tokes a lot. What's up? Thanks for coming in with the unicorn emoji, man. Good to see you in chat. Thank you for lurking. What did you exactly say to your family before you left for this great journey? This has to be fucking interesting. <laughs> Going out on another adventure. 
they know like they know Sailor likes to adventure at this point. At that point. Big as yeah, fuck, yeah. but alright. <laughs> they, they know what their daughter gets off to, alright? Yeah, escaping slavery. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm kidding. But I'm not. <laughs> also, on this side note, uh, Bone talks about. talked to me about wanting Kane along with an NPC. So What's that? Uh, Drone talks about, uh, DM to me about wanting to bring Kane along as an NPC on the, the adventure. Okay. Yes, I, I do remember that. Um, so that can happen since your brother is a part of a adventuring party of like five people. Mm -hmm. You have the possibility of inviting them on your crew as your like pirate ship crew since you need more people anyway. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it is it is a good prospect. And something Emaru could uh if you know happen, have. I need to do a run with him on Baldur's Gate to get Paris down properly. I'm very satisfied with what we got. But if you would like to go right ahead. But I'm just saying I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I know, but I'm just being very specific, you know me. Yeah. <sighs> so, Alice, I do want to side note some things. So, you did kind of grow up around Thela and Nymph. Mm -hmm. Actually, the city is technically your hometown, but you were raised with the fact that you don't settle necessarily right constantly on the move mm. so you're impartial to this place however this whole in the city holds your earliest memories since Aww. it was your father's second shop okay uh keynote um this is where you fell in love with books and learned to read cool so awesome. the library in the fortress city uh was and will always be one of your favorite places. Uh awesome. Cool. Sage, this is a really cool like forest. So let me explain the bi biome change. Okay. So you guys were in the desert and like in the tropics for from session zero to now. Right. So the bio change, the grass is like a nice uh red wine color uh the browns of the bark are much more richer and darker uh the trees are a lot taller and hmm. so this is a like part of the forest is the birch forest so you can see since birch trees are pretty small relatively mm -hmm. you can see where it really hits the wall of the thick forest so the bir uh the birch is close to the city because they use that as lumber and pretty much for decoration um but you have noticed like up until this point that there are crystals that grow on the ground of different color Ooh. and sizes some of them pulsate with color others are just a solid color different shapes some of their sides are smoothly cut and others are jagged um, you see this peeping out of the tall grass and sometimes growing out of trees especially Ooh. the older ones but not not from the newer trees. Right. <clears throat> so I'm going to say it's about 11. And, uh, since you guys kind of partied last session, had a great, wholesome family meal, set up, chatted. Hell yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you guys are waking up. It's about a uh, 10.30, 11 o'clock. Um, you smell food downstairs. 
And they actually cooked something instead of just plants this time. <laughs> <laughs> they realize we're not fucking rabbits. Uh they made some pork. Like um they they uh pork chops. Yeah. Cool. That I sounds amazing. That. And some ribs. So okay. Cool. Barbecue for breakfast. Let's go. Hell yeah. Amari's oh. probably like, now we're talking. <laughs> yep. Um, so, this is a perfect opportunity to talk to your new love interest about joining. So, as I'm snuggling this absolute adorable bean. Uh, I just, uh, I'm just like, so we're going to be having quite the adventure, and, uh, I would love for you to, uh, join us. All right, roll persuasion. Oh, Hell God. yeah. You got <laughs> this, you got this, Imaru. I believe in you. You have a... Oh my god. We're good. 18. Oh, it's okay, just like yes. three dots. Um, oh, it is an 18. So he okay. gives you a uh, a gentle forehead kiss. It says, always. Let's go into town and grab up the rest of my crew. Sounds good. Alright, so... We've got both Cedar Hut children on the adventuring class. And you get to boss your brother around. <laughs> I, I would never do that to Kane. I would never do that to Kane, but that's funny. <laughs> You're thinking about it already, which I like. No, I wouldn't. I would. <laughs> well, I, I kind of base sailors and Kane's relations. Oh, that's uh, the, the silent H, by the way, uh, thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, after the A? K H A silent H. K A. Oh, like that. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Are you sure? Wait. This is how it's spelled. Just type it in for D and D chat. Yeah. Let's let's. <laughs> like, I thought you were reciting a spell for a minute. Silent H. Silent letters are weird. Like, why are you there? Okay. They are weird, but that's, that's the name. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if there was or not. I actually wondered if there was, but there we go. I fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> Fargrim's like, no, this is how it's spelled. <laughs> American English. <laughs> but he's, he's, a, he's a half elf. Yeah. <laughs> true enough. Very true enough. That's true. And now, now Graham joined the argument. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, allowed, he's, allowed, he's allowed a not quite human That's true. Elf name. <laughs> half elf. <laughs> 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 Alright, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, ma... Uh, Mac so, just told me. Sorry, what was that stage? Maybe I need to turn. Maybe I just need to turn everybody up, because I can't turn full Buster up anymore. But Mac says she, you, nobody can hear her on stream. But I turned you up all the way, full Buster. I don't know. Um, is that any better? Because my headset was just sliding off my head just now. But I'm also not talking a lot of the time because I keep muting. Uh, yeah, that's uh, true. Give me one second. I will be right back. Okay. Alrighty. I need to. Mm. I need to go do something. So, uh, you guys are eating. Uh, so Kane and his uh, other four party members are joining you as crew members. Have you guys decided of the airship name? Oh my God, no. 
I have not. Um. One job, man. <laughs> I love you, ball. Like. We man. really, yeah. Right. I so, told. I've really forgot. Um. Let, let's let's take twenty minutes and brainstorm. All, all right. right. All right. Um. Let's be, you get a timer on <laughs> without the other half of the group. <laughs> well, we can start. We can start brainstorming. <laughs> yeah. Let Let's get crazy with the cheese whiz. Think of some cool ship names. Use all Google right. if you have to. Um. I have no idea. <laughs> the Flying Dutchman. Um, okay, SpongeBob. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, is. It, is. <laughs> it is. Literally pirate lore, but yeah. Also Black Pearl. <laughs> uh, um, oh, that was the King, from... King, <laughs> Queen Anne's Revenge. <laughs> uh, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to put these in the um. In the chat, you know, so we can I decide do, on them I later. Like, I like, like the naming convention. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Um, you know, like generally, like with like, I, I like the naming convention of Black Pearl. So like, not necessarily that name, but I like that naming convention. So. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Um. Uh... So think of like how. The party has been, and like how the campaign has been, like a reflection on that, maybe, mm. maybe something like original. Hmm. <laughs> um. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing up a blank. I'm having to think about. Guys, think. literally no pressure. It's just a creative brainstorming. Yeah. Exercise. The flying fuckers. That's what I got. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh gosh. <laughs> the air platypus. That's what I got. Um. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I, I've seen. I've seen you write better. <laughs> Fargrim's like, I'm so disappointed in you. Rightly, <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really bad and at you're titles. Rocco, just them, just like, touch each other's hands on the bed. like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Welcome mm -hmm. in, Mimi Panda. Thank you well, for joining the party. Rising. Okay. Hmm. I like that one. That's a good one, actually. Yeah. Um, no, not the, or I should say, not that you know of. <laughs> so I can't really say yes or no, right? Though, right, um, so not that you know of. Should I don't know what if we just <laughs> like what about like the alien queen or something? I don't know. That's not really very good, is it? Um. Mm. <laughs> I just, my brain's just empty thoughts right now. So. Um. Damn. <laughs> um. I am also having to think about two D and D campaigns at once. So like. That probably doesn't help. Polaris. Uh, you are sorry, Sage? Alice said Polaris. I like that. Mm. Party doesn't have it. They don't they don't have a name. That's what I said. What? That's that's exactly what I said. That's what for exactly a group? What I said. Um, <laughs> I can barely hear Grim in the background. Hello. <laughs> you, you're just as disappointed as I am. <laughs> oh no! I feel like we yeah. failed at our one mission. <laughs> wow, Literally okay. after they killed the dragon, I gave them the title "The Slayers of the Five Fence Market" or something. 
Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> damn. I don't know. My brain's coming up blank. Mm. Okay, that's that's really bad, but I, I had to get it out of my head. Um, Please, no. <laughs> respect, I'm deleting that. <laughs> that never happened. Oh my god! <laughs> I saw it before. Really no, fake news. Fake news. I saw it. Fake news. No. No. Man. Please just have a little fake. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> oh, that was no. So what? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, my God. I'm just God. thinking space themed things. It's not really piratey. Yeah, exactly. Uh, We're like space pi. Wait, wait, what? What? Oh, uh, fuck. Do you guys remember that movie? The Treasure Planet movie? What the fuck was oh. the name of their ship? Oh, shoot. Um, because they're like space no pirates. You would like yeah. it. You'd like it a lot. We had, we had, mm, what was it called? How do you not have Disney Plus? We do have Disney Plus. That's how uh -oh. I've been watching American Horror Story. I just haven't oh. gotten around to watching other Disney movies, any of the Disney movies I've missed yet. Oh, fuck, man. That one's, that one's a good one. Yeah. That was like, uh, Titan AE. That one was fucking wow. Um, great music track too. Anyway, <laughs> damn, I don't know. This is hard. Um, yeah, my brain's hmm. blank. So sorry, I'm not being of much help here. <laughs> Where are we on the timer? <laughs> Ooh. So I set it for 15 minutes, and you guys have 8 minutes left. Okay. Star Slayers. Hell yeah. <laughs> Close enough, Sage. I'll leave that one. <laughs> We're not going to talk about what happened 5 seconds ago. <laughs> or, or oh I didn't my see god. Anything. You didn't see anything. Oh, I know I saw something. <laughs> <laughs> just so chat knows my title is the hot air balloon y'all like <laughs> what the fuck oh fuck me <laughs> okay um <laughs> okay um like I know I know why they have suicide weapons now I get it <laughs> Wow. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh no. my god. <laughs> oh gosh. Um... I have this harder. <laughs> yeah, it's time for me to commit seppuku. <laughs> oh no, they're they're naming the boat still. Yeah, what the oh, what the fuck do we name say, it? I will I will add something with slayers sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, I do like the I do like slayers. That's why I'm trying to find an S word. Like the reason why I was like stars is because like we're we're like fighting aliens. So I don't know. Like like the, the Let me think on this. Let me think on this. Hold on, hold on. Um <laughs> Uh, this this made my day. Out <laughs> of this whole fucking week, this is it. This is this highlight. Oh man! Right before oh, the weekend. Grim's, Grim's typing oh, again out here. No. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> just, just the anticipation. I just, I just, I'm just seeing more Grim is typing. <laughs> I feel like Star Slayer should be like our group name. Wait, no. Honestly. Now I know kind of the direction he took that. No. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to know. Oh, fuck. This <laughs> thing. No. It's worse, no. but all right. Dragons oh, oh, that's 
good. That one is good. Okay. All no, right. That one is a good one. <laughs> you know what? We're leaving that. <laughs> I mean, I like the dragon's heart. I like that too. I mean, we did slay a dragon. Yeah. And we have oh. up. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down with that. I'm okay with that one. Mm. All in favor? I say all in favor, yeah. Yeah, right, I'm, cool. I'm good with that yeah. one. All right. So okay. airship will be now called the the Dragon's Heart. I love that name, actually. I was, like, worried about what he was going to come up with. <laughs> Me too. I was worried for a second. <laughs> I was worried, Grim. I was, I was like, worried. Oh, God. I was like, oh, God, what generation name have we got this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was a great exercise. I yeah, never, it was. I will never push you guys that hard again. <laughs> oh, God damn. Was... <laughs> Barger was about ready to give up on us. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I was just like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna throw everything I got at it. <laughs> and we got two. We got two. We got two gems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're good, right? <laughs> oh my god! All right. So, what? Uh, what's what? What? Why do I keep asking this question? What? What is the name of the fucking city that we're in? Zerm. Okay, thank God I actually remembered it this time. I was like, I didn't, but like I did. So, thank God. Okay. At least I'm not totally lost, right? But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you're with the party. Everything's fine. <laughs> you guys are finishing up breakfast and uh, you gotta head out to the city. Hell yeah. Yeah, funnily enough, though. Funnily enough, uh, thank Welcome yeah. in, Rusty. How are you doing? How's the streams been going? I guess you can't really answer me because we're in emote only chat, but hello and welcome. My brother's the oldest sibling, but we get on really, really well. Well, that's cool. So I was like, you know what? I I already have a basis for a brother sister relationship as is. Hell yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. Like, you give examples of banter. It'd be it'd be probably helpful. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why I gave Alice seven siblings is because well, she has a sibling. And uh, yeah. You you decided I deserve seven of them suddenly, huh? Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey, blame your parents. Blame your parents. <laughs> your dad's a smooth talker, and your mom was just like, "Fuck it, dude. He he's a businessman, and he's got it going on." <sighs> and I just mom okay. Has got it going. <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh. <laughs> Stacy's mom has got it going on. Oh my god, you're gonna get that song stuck in my head. No, every time... no, it's has got it going on. Every time, every time someone says that someone's mom has got it going on, that's what I think. <laughs> that play some music to cancel out that song now. Just <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's just how my mind works. <laughs> Chaotic as fuck. So, uh, you guys decided to leave for the city? Yeah. Alright, so, Thayla, you, you spent some of your team in up to recent years here, so you know the city like the back of your own hand. Yeah. Uh, so, the city council and embassy yeah. for different traders or different merchants or adventuring mm -hmm. groups can come in and establish business here. 
Uh, beside that is the. I'm looking at the map that I posted mm -hmm. in the D and D chat. Yeah, I yes, I just saved I it. Of, cool. Uh, you pass the uh, city crops, which mostly feed the uh, elvish military. So, mm -hmm. Great Worm sends all of its military troops to train here mm -hmm. to learn yeah. the different mountain altitudes and train with the different tribes and to see yeah. more culture. Yeah. Uh, however, most of the culture that you see is gnome, uh, orcish, goliath, and very seldom are Kokra, which yeah. are bird people. Yeah. Oh, There's goliath in town. Whoa, their houses must be huge. <laughs> Well, they mostly live on the mountain, but yes. Uh, uh, okay. But in the center of town is a ruin from the first, well, from the, uh, before the light. Uh, to us, it would be a, uh, like a fast food joint. Mm. But they have converted into a temple from its uh, ruined collapse. Right. Uh, uh, which is in the center of town by a lake. Uh, north of there is the crafting district and officer headquarters for the military. Right. So, uh, typically, Zermis can hold up to 4,000 just soldiers. Mm, right. So, typically, this is like <clears throat> anywhere between 75,000 to 80,000 population city. Right, right. 90% of the population, like, all right, so out of five people, Three of them are going to be elves. One of them is going to be the other one yeah. typically going to be a human. Right. Mm. There are no humans that actually serve in the Milish, elvish military. Mm. Only like mm. squires or people yeah. that want to be knights in the human kingdom or or wherever. Right. They try to follow a brave elvish warrior. Right. For their discipline. Also in this town, they have a mine, yeah. which services uh, the trade, as right. well as the military. Right. Um. So in the, they don't really. So I split it in between the crafting district, which is mostly for your weapons, armor, horses, uh, stables, things like that. Right. And in your trading district, you have your common goods, your food, right. your potions, your clothing, your yeah. spas, your hair, uh, and clothing accessory places, things like that. Oh. As well as a library and a teleporter. A teleporter? Yes. So Alice knows about this, and mm -hmm. because... It's on the outskirts of town, and no one really hangs out there because it's a ruin, pretty much. But it's a nice place to read. Yay! Yeah. I have secret spots. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, I have hideouts. This seems like a good, a good place to like pick up the hair decorations I was wanting to. So uh, yes. I, I also made uh, commodities in every city. Right, but mostly in the Gnomish city, I really went out. Uh, but here, there's also things like that. Right. Okay. So, all of you ladies can have a wonderful shopping spree today. Hell yeah. I'm excited. Because, like, I'd really like to look at, like, armor. And also, I'd really like to buy more thieves tools. And also, okay. we're looking for alchemical ingredients, right, Alice? So, yes. like, we need oh, to... Right, right, hold up. Let me look at that list again. Hold up. <laughs> you're right. You're, you're totally right. I think it's one weird. of them was well water. Well water at the full moon. That's why I was asking you about that last test, last session. I was just like, what? what? The, the what, moon what? phase. The, okay, the phase of the so moon mattered. it's uh, waxing. However, okay. as you guys enter the city, they are making preparations for the Full Moon Festival later this month. Wait. So you guessed hey. it. 
Okay. So you guessed that by the time you make it to the Elvish or uh, the Gnomish kingdom, it'll be the full moon, and they'll definitely have a festival there too. Okay, cool. Right. So Gnomish kingdom collect well water. Okay. Uh... Yes, that is a definite check. Okay. okay. Um. Oh gosh. All right. I needed four other ingredients. Hello, background. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Hold on. Let me let me copy this and and give it to you, uh, Paige, so you know what uh. Oh, the Fargram, details are. Fargram yeah. sent me Fargram sent me a um, a thing with all the ingredients. Oh, okay. So you. Hey, you Triv, what's up? Oh, thank you so uh, much okay. for dropping some emotes well, in the right. chat and coming to say hey, man. Uh, so other four ingredients we need is a silver leaf, an elderflower, some ground up quartz. And a phoenix feather, which might be the most difficult one to get. But we'll see. We'll see what we got. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. Cool. So we get to go shopping then. Shopping. Yeah. All right. Fun. All right. Cool. Um. So I guess my first question is. I don't know. Do you guys want to go together? We could, like, go to the crafting district and then the trading district. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. All right, cool, cool, cool. That sounds good. Um, the first place I want to go, go is to the blacksmith to see if he has any armor. Can I even wear armor? No. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, yeah. The best uh, you can do is the fancy student robe, which you have on now. It's oh, I'm wearing it. Which, there are a group of students... You can tell that by how orderly they are together, and they are wearing uniforms. Oh. Almost identical to the one that's Solo's robe, but different in designing. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. right. Uh, so they seem to be from the wizardry school to the far north in the Dwarvish Kingdom. Ooh. Right. Uh, so they are checking out the fortress city of Zermes to learn about their magic and craftsmanship. Right. Yeah, that's just flavor notes. Uh, as we'll say, it's pretty much for mages for armor upgrades, if you will. It's pretty much just like mm. added robes right. or like magical effects or something mm -hmm. where or something I... that gives you more constitution or ac yeah. like rings or amulets uh did i i don't see it in my inventory i wonder if i forgot to put it in here the robe that i was wearing i, I don't think it had any magical effects though it didn't it was just a nice robe. Okay, cool. I think it was a robe. If they have a robe plus one, throw that down. I think each of your robes were. Mm. Alice, did you equip the new robe? Uh, did I? I think I was supposed to, but I didn't add it to my inventory. Okay. Mm. Where was it? Equipment. Uh, uh, no, I just have wands and stuff. Yeah, same. Okay. Cool. Well, I mean, if anything, you guys can pick up something here. Cool. Okay, cool, yeah. yeah. I definitely want to look and see if there are any, like, any robes or any clothing that might be useful for Solo. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Sounds like a good plan. Alright, so they have a robe uh, vendor here. They have very vibrant colors and beautiful floral and nature designs like they have flowers coming up from the inseams and like how they have it in the witcher where they have it mm -hmm. uh like painted on the side of barns and taverns in tamaria yeah uh that kind of design similar to hildy's others are more like All tree right. roots i'm i'm going to pop out for a little bit um just catch me up later okay okay yeah, we're going to and you won't miss much <laughs> yeah. okay Okay. 
As you were saying. Um, so... Any color that... Any color that you can think of, they pretty much have. Mm. Uh, there seems to be at least a good team of four uh, seamstresses and tailors working. I What's up? I really want to find like just like a black robe, but like something that like shimmers. You know what I mean? Like it's black, but then when you look at it, it's like sparkling. Ooh. Let me see. Uh, sh so she says that um, she has just the thing, but. All right, so you want a, like, black, shiny robe. Yeah, like, yeah. Like it, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like you turn like and in the, yeah, like in the flick of a light, it's like glittery, it looks like stars. Like glimmery. Yeah. Glimmery. Yeah. Glimmery then. All right, yeah. so she has a shadow glimmery cloak. Um, so this cloak is kind of cool. Uh, it has its own, like, hoodie sleeves yeah so when you stick out your arm it'll be like a part of it as well yeah cool um let me come up with it thank you ai <laughs> this is cool i like shopping <laughs> uh so that will cost you 250 gold you're kidding me Gosh, I don't even no. have 250 gold. I have like 216 gold. That's um, too bad. So, um, she how... says that and your old robe will do for trade. Um, is it worth it, Alice? Like, is it really I don't worth know. it? We still, we still need potion ingredients. So that's um... true. Honestly, mm, <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll skip on the robe. That makes me really sad, but. I don't I like. Happy. Maybe we can we can buy fabric and then come back and. True. Be True. Yeah. Or no. There's no way. There's yeah. no way because we still have, and I really wanted to see if they have any more thieves tools. So I guess Solo is just gonna be poor forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right. Um. Yeah, I have a bunch of scrolls I can sell, but at the same time, do I want to sell them? No. You really don't. Yeah. You really don't. I have like mm. a bunch of gems and stuff that I haven't sold yet. Oh wait. What kind of gems do you have actually? Um Emerald, Amethyst, Blue Sapphire, and Paradox. No. Cool. Okay. Paradox. We're what, looking for quartz. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe we could like trade a if we could find a jeweler, we could trade one of those if they have any quartz. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. quartz is like, pretty yeah, common, like, actually. Yeah. yeah. One amethyst, one blue sapphire, two emeralds, and one paradox. Okay, let's go to the jewelers and see if we can find the. Okay. Cool. 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 So ingredients we need. Yeah. So, they do have a jeweler. Mm -hmm. It is a gnome and an elf apprentice working together. Oh, okay. So, they specialize in earrings, hairpins, and uh, rings. And what, sorry? Rings. Rings, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So, the gnome uh, says, ah, greetings. How may I assist you? How old are these people, by the way? Would they? They they recognize you. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna cool. say cool. Like, these people recognize you. Thayla, like you you left a few months ago, and you lived here for a good part of your teen years. Yeah, I know, no, I know, I know, but. So. You never know. It could also be new people. You never know. <laughs> okay, so Thayla, you got your first consensual kiss by the uh, apprentice of the jeweler and he tries oh. to not make eye contact with you oh, is he like an oh is he like an old lover or something <laughs> what was that <laughs> i 
was gonna. I said, is he like like an old lover or some kind of thing? In that vein, then. <laughs> yeah. So it was kind of like a uh, a teenage thing, but yeah, yeah. I didn't really get much past there because you were just like, go sure. I was like, well, sorry, he cut out. <laughs> you want to go on an adventure, so you were just like, fuck all that. <laughs> I'm going to have my own fun. Come on, dude. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I just think it didn't work. It's like it didn't really work out. Yeah, but so. Did, but we we didn't. We left on amicable terms. So. Yes. Mm. Yes. But he does seem focused at this time. Cool. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Thayla, I'm not sure which of the gems you want to exchange, because we just need, like, one quartz, and we need to grind it up. That's all. Yeah. Um, so, I'll, I will be like, do you happen to have any quartz that I can trade one of these gems for? And I will take some of the gems out the pouch, out of my pouch, just to... Absolutely. And he hands you a clear quartz. Yeah. Uh, which is the perfect size that you guesstimate for your ingredients. Right. Hell yeah! Right. Um, so what would you like to exchange for this? What? What gem would you like? What which gem would you like the most? What? Uh, so he inspects them, and what gems do you have again? Um, amethyst, blue sapphire, emerald, and peridot. He takes the emerald and he looks at the uh, sapphire and he says, "Use this for something special." Thank. You. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the blue sapphire is kind of kind of rare one, so. Yeah, so we'll hold on to the blue sapphire. <laughs> uh, Thayla, your child, your teenage love looks up and says, Thayla, you look fantastic. Thank you very much. Aww. He says, uh, what are you doing later? Um, I don't know. <laughs> he says, uh, I'll see you around. He kind of winks at you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So I then hand um, Wistaria the quartz. What did he take? Sorry, the emerald? One of the emeralds? Yes. Yes. Okay. And he starts uh, cutting it into something nice. Um, so. On display, he, like I said, he has earrings, hair clip, hair pins, uh, ear cuffs, which are different yeah. types of earrings, yeah. and uh, rings. Yeah. So I remove one of the emeralds, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, Staria, in mm -hmm. the market, you notice your older sibling. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Does she notice me yet? Uh, no. She seems to be looking at fruit and, like, scoffing at it. <laughs> so your... This is your older sibling, supposedly... The smartest one, the one that's teaching in the sorcery college. Mm. You two have never really seen eye to eye, but you have had your moments of wholesomeness. But somehow, she is uh, one of the most. Uh, her name is Paige. Okay. Uh, like I said, this is the one, uh, you have the most sibling rivalry, rivalry with, even though that she wasn't there for most of your childhood. That, that's weird to have a rivalry with so many hard to see, but okay. 
Because you, because you were, you are a very talented wizard. That's why she feels rivalry by you. Oh, I see. That that's your conclusion after all these years. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so what boggles you the most is she should be teaching. Okay. She's not at her job. Uh huh. Uh, you also remember that your dad's second shop was last time still found in this town. Mm. Right. And you left here when you were about 10. Right. Like I was going on a Pokemon journey? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant like until the next city where your dad set up shop. Uh, okay. And then you were like, I'm sick of your bullshit. Right, okay. <laughs> Very new things. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm like, snow. <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, so is there anything god. you guys are looking for specifically besides yeah. the quartz? Um, um, well, please have the quartz here in inventory. I did, I did. Oh, okay. perfect. <laughs> Thank you, yes, thank there's you for all, the reminder. There's also a alchemy shop here. Uh, we need Silverleaf, Elderflower, and a Phoenix Feather. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess we're going to the alchemy shop, because we need ingredients. Cool, sounds good. <laughs> Off we so, go. So, as you bump into your sister going into the alchemy shop, I, I went Plaza, to... <laughs> your sister was on your way in there. Oh my god. Because, okay. Well, what's dad's okay. favorite kitchen doing here? Hi, hey, Paige. Uh, I need some ingredients. For uh, what? Or... You always liked your catnip. <laughs> no! What? Oh my oh, god. Oh no! I'm making a potion! For my friend! Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Last that, that, vitals that. fire. I see. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna move on and go with the shop now. <laughs> I'm just like... You, as you, you're giving her the cold chill. She says, "You know who's running father's shop in town?" Probably. She you, gives you that I guilty pause. She says, Probably. "No, that boy who tried to kiss you while you, while you lived here." Oh gosh. Uh, so is this a warning to avoid the shop then? No. It'll probably give you a good discount. Mm, okay, fine. But I must warn you, I'm after Dad's second shop. And you bet, and she, by this time she approaches you and kind of gets in your personal space. What? And she says, I am the better wizard, Mistaria. <laughs> I'm going off on adventures. You can stay at the shop all you want. Damn! <laughs> I will have our dad's enterprise as she shakes her fist as you don't give a fuck what she says. I'm, I'm glad you're passionate about it, but honestly, I don't care. That's insane. <laughs> Joy feels like a, I don't want it, you can have it anyway. <laughs> So she scoffs at you and picks up her cape and dramatically flip, like flings it over her shoulder as she walks away. Dramatic is right. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so to, exp to explain the trading district, think of it like a giant flea market, mm -hmm. but each stall is separated by a, a magically soundproofed wall. Okay. So you, it's not a whole bunch of hammers smashed in. Or people yeah. talking. It's kind of quiet. Like the yeah. supermarket. Uh, so as you approach, uh, that is a elderly elven woman in a shattered eye. Or a different skinned dark elf. Right. Well, two of them uh, assisting her. One of them is cleaning and the other one is labeling bottles behind right. the counter. In the alchemy shop? Yes. 
That is okay. so cool. Um, nice. Can I roll, like, an investigation check on these guys just to see, like, what they're about and, like, yeah. if they, you know, they're if they know like, anything. Oh, Not if they know anything about me, but just, like, if they know, like, where if they are from here or did they, like, where did they grow up? Like, is there any way I can, like, check on any of that? Uh, is this more of a history check of, uh, like, oh, is it? culture? Well, that would be know. more of it. So, from what Saints was describing before, that was more of an insight check to see insight. Okay. How they were demeaning. Uh, All right. Okay. I'll do insight then. Okay. Oh shit! So... Oh, net twenty. Nice, Saints. This is excellent, actually. So, as the bell, as the door rings, because there's a little bell up top, yeah. and the sh one of the shattered cars that seems to be sweeping. Takes a double take at you, Sage. And oh, kind shit. of gives you this look like they know you, but you don't know them. Kind right. of look. I'm sure you, you've gotten these before in real life. Yeah. Um, yeah, literally true. Almost in disbelief. And he kind of like taps the other one's shoulder. And the other one, uh, Drops the glass bottle and it breaks all over the desk. Uh -oh. Wow! Did it sound good? I think Solo Jesus. is gonna like. No, that's not like Solo. Hmm. Um. <laughs> well, Solo, you have a sense of familiarity. Okay. Of, like kindredship. Oh, okay. But you don't know where it comes from. Right. Um. All right, so I think I I don't know. I think Solo is going to step forward and like kind of look between the two of them and say, "Hi. Uh do you do we know each other?" Uh the one that gave you double take said, "Do you not remember?" I d Almost in disbelief. Uh, should I that's, remember? That's what we're here for, actually. We need, uh, some ingredients for a memory potion. They both look at each other, pale in the face, and... They both look at... Solo, for long clean, say, I guess it's best you don't remember. <gasps> oh, that's sad. What? Oh, that's so sad. I... Isn't there, like, can't you tell me anything? I mean, I, I don't know any, I don't even know who I am. I don't know where I came from. I don't know anything about myself. And, like, you were so the first one people. One of them that was sweeping steps over to Solo, puts a hand on your shoulder, and just says, it's okay. What? You can find yourself again. You just don't want to hurt you. Uh... It's okay to be yourself again. Find yourself. Just more Aww. importantly, be yourself. He gives you a hug. Like a wholeheartedly <gasps> hug. Oh! And he says, it was good to see you. And he goes back to sweeping. Okay. Okay. Aww. No, this is not, this is like not okay. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> Holy okay? shit. No, I'm not okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, so what if I, what if I talk to this person and what if I try to like persuade them to tell me more about who I am? Okay. I'm gonna roll persuasion. I got a fifteen. They refuse you politely again and say, "Damn, it is for you to find." So I'm but taking there are notes. Others missing you. He says, "Kind of put this in bold. There are others missing." Okay. Got you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's so. I I 
I feel like at this point, Solo is, like, super fucking distraught. Absolutely, like, just, like, no idea. Because can you guys imagine? Like, Solo doesn't know absolutely anything about, like, who they are, where they came from, even, like, their race and, and how, like, their shadow magic works. And then here are these people who, like, they feel like they have some familiarity and kindred spirit with. And they're, like... We don't want to hurt you. You can be yourself. It's okay. It's good to see you. Let me give you a hug. And But it's, like, so ominous and dark. And, like, then they won't tell me anything more. I don't know. Like, I don't... I can't even imagine that. Like, at least a name. Like... Right. Right. <laughs> so we're not just calling you Solo and that might not even be your name. Like... Right. Like, it's not... It's literally just because Solo was always alone. So Solo, like, named themselves that because they were, like, always on the streets just alone. Um... Wow, it's just beds. Okay. <sighs> I um I have so I, I would hug you I would hug you I, I hug know you. Like, right I hug don't give well. up I hug you as well Nymph also rubs up against Solo Aww. Aww. <laughs> that's that's very comforting I feel like Solo's just standing there with their jaw dropped open like what the fuck <laughs> what the, the actual fuck like what the fuck why do you spell that <laughs> what is going on here Oh no. <laughs> Okay, uh, so do we look through the shop for the ingredients we need? Hold on. Uh... Uh, you can ask the shopkeeper uh, or one of the two helpers kind of leave because they also get emotionally distraught. Aww. Aww. Wow. They're just like, oh. Okay, uh, well, in, in that case. I know, right? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, okay, so that's I'm cool. going a lot, of, to the... a lot of character development. Let's yes. go. I go up to the <laughs> shop uh, owner and I ask about um, ingredients. What was it? Silverleaf, elderflower, and phoenix feather. Right. Or if we knew where I could find some, because that would be great. Phoenix feather is typically found in uh, larger cities like Great Worm and Uthagor. Mm, okay. Um, they're very rare. However, right. we know one for sure is in uh, the Gnomish City. Okay. One of the queen actually keeps mm. it as a personal display. What? Really? Okay. Queen. Cool. Okay, I bet you know Solo. We need to remember that. We need to remember that. <laughs> yep, I got it. <laughs> okay. All right. The Gnomish City is Poven, right? Uh... Fife and Shire. Fife and Shire. That's where you guys are headed next. Fife and You fix your airship, get the rest of your ingredients for your memory potion. Uh, oh. Fix your airship, memory potion, uh, return the book on... of yeah, Elvish, book... uh, Gnomish mm -hmm. uh, leadership history. Yes. And I think there's a fourth thing. What's the fourth thing? Uh, the heist? Yes, the heist. The heist. <laughs> Very most of important. our, most of our, yeah, quests are in the next city. You, so. you guys have like all the candy quests. Griffin and Sid are, I'm um, Griffin and Jamie are pretty much doing a, a my own campaign at this point, which is awesome. <laughs> okay. But they have learned a lot of good information about the aliens, which they will share with you when you guys mm -hmm. meet. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, and you guys um, might learn that information along the I way. I got worried about Meek's character. I'm just like, right. no! Right! Me too! I was like, what the fuck? Meek got fucking kidnapped? Shit! Yeah. <laughs> Meek, I was Meek fortunate, did get man. Poor Meek. So think, Meek was strong enough to fuck up a dragon. So what's stronger and more sneakier than a Meek? Yeah. Mm. Gary thoughts. So we're in, we're, Terrifying. We're in the Part, right. Right, Correct. right. Sorry, sorry. We're, we're yeah. going up track. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, so um, she has Elderflower for you for 10 gold. Okay. How about Silverleaf? Uh, Silverleaf, she has as well. Okay. Ooh, so okay. how much would it be in total? However, the Silverleaf is um, it's not very good quality. Ah, uh, You're okay. not sure if it's really going to work. 
Okay. It's on the discount rack because it's getting uh, older. Okay. So, no, use your Lover's discretion. Okay. Can we do a check on that? Like, um. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you okay. can roll a nature check. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh. Nature. I did terrible. So did I. It looks like some oh, weird ass leaves. Yeah, will man. you try, Thayla? Yep. Thayla, might as well. Yeah, uh, could you just put this the... flower, bro? Aw, <laughs> damn. Aww. We all got eight? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't know about that. Hmm. All right, so. Preview, you're not sure if you should smoke it or eat it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> can I do a medicine check on it? Sure. Okay, hold on. That was better. Mystery, you wouldn't even use this if it was the last thing you had. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So no. So um, got it. So this so, just got racked for a reason. So, so just okay. The elder flower, then. Yeah, just the elder flower. Okay. I'll take the elder flower for ten gold. All right. Um. Do you need any gold? Also, uh, adjusts her glasses and gives Thayla a hug. She says, "Thayla, how have you been? I've been You're looking walking. great, young girl." Thank you. I've been doing well. Uh, she gives Nymph a treat, and Nymph <laughs> loves coming to see her. Oh my god. She and your father and Chamberlain helped Nymph with her, you know, since she was a puppy. Nice. Aww. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Almost like the Cedar Hats are a pillar of the community or something. <laughs> so, while you're in town, your mind keeps thinking about the abandoned ruin. You kind of kept a stash there of your favorite books. Oh. Because of your siblings. Right, because they would mess with my stuff. Am I right. trying to go look for my stuff? That's up to you. I'm just letting okay. you know. That, now that's you have me part that comes into a I want to. I will want to go to the uh, hair accessory place. Excellent choice. To get uh, so to get like a uh, leather. I've got the. Actually, I'm gonna put this picture in D and D chat again. So I've got like color references for things, you know. Now you have I'm me curious. Now I'm like, now I want to split for the party. Go see our stash. What's it? What's in my stash? <laughs> What have I hid? So, was I sneaky kitty? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what I'm thinking is like a leather band uh -huh. that's the same color as the leather of my armor, and okay. like and like the like a thin chain that like matches like the bronzy goldy chain on my mm. armor for like my for like the braid part of my ponytail. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. So warm tones. Yeah. Mm. As a dude, I have no idea what you're imagining, but sure. So 25 think, gold. So, 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 <laughs> so like, for the tones, though, think like how Shadow, kind of like how Shadow Heart has. Right. Okay. And then obviously the hair band is basically like a hair tie, right? But it's a leather it's a leather band that I want to cool. Put the rest of my ponytail in. That's twenty five gold, right? Mm -hmm. So I shall remove that from. My Sorry, uh, silver pieces. Silver, okay. Um, five silver pieces. All right, hang on. Let me move, remove that then. There's also earrings as well. Yeah, uh, with they, Australia, earrings. I think they don't like really it. have attachments for tabaxis, mm -hmm. but they do have ribbons, which could kind of work. So 25 silver, right? Yeah. Remove 25. What kind of ribbons do they get? Uh, question. And I'm trying to think of how ribbons would work for her. Alright, so, how long is your fur? Are you a I'd long, say, floofy No, thing? I'd say like a medium length. Not, not really long. So I'm gonna, 
so now I'm gonna add the, these accessories as like custom items. I think I don't know how to like make them equipable or whatever, but I'm just gonna add them as custom items mm -hmm. for now. Okay. So leather. I'm trying to describe it. Like, do they have okay. different colored ribbon? Sorry. <laughs> so I guess I could just describe it as like a leather hairband, right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Just add the description in there. So I think so. They're not. Well, the hair they're not really ribbons. They're kind of like foam that kind of sticks in your hair, like a hair clip or a oh. clip. Would that um, work? So I'm just trying to think of it's... how would it work for fur. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean. What kind you can always have like. Go on. Uh -huh. Go on. Ask in a sec. Uh, so maybe like a rose gold? Because that's kind of a warm tone. So what kind of. Um, what color would you call the metal on Sailor's armor? Like not no. the silver metal, but bronze, okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So I just want to know for like. So, money. well, sorry, is this like your fluke? Yeah, or... that, that's that's kind of medium length, and longer cats have longer fur. Yeah. Okay. Hi that floofy. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah, no wonder why everybody wants to pet you. Um, I know. Right? <laughs> I'm so but, fluffy. <laughs> uh, Taylor, your clone would like some earrings. Okay. Uh, she what? was looking at some silver, uh, dragon-looking earrings. Okay. With a, like, blue teardrop. Okay. Ooh, How much fancy. are these earrings? Three gold. Three gold. Well, I'm going to buy them for my clone. Okay. She's Hell very yeah. She's happy. That's um, cool. Three gold, right? Mm -hmm. okay, she also seems to be, uh, side note, she seems to be journaling about Nim. Oh, because right. from what you have gathered, she and what you kind of gathered from the other clones, there is a possibility she there are similarities between you two, but right. you're just not you haven't bridged that gap yet. Right, right. I mean, I'm half I'm happy that I'm happy. To, I'm just happy that people are people seem to like nymphs, so. <laughs> Yeah. The only thing, the only thing I could think that would work would maybe be like an ear decoration or like an armband or something, or a tabaxi, they don't, or. They don't really have that stuff here. No. Okay. Well, so. that's all I can think of. <laughs> It'd be cool to have a leather bracer, but I don't think a wizard could even equip a leather bracer. Ooh. <laughs> or like it could be like a leather bracelet. Yeah. So I don't, don't forget, I did just buy a leather hairband. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Um. I wait. Did I ask that lady where I could find some silver leaf though in the other shop? Uh, silver leaf is found in Siphonshire, uh, Great Worm. Elastar, Runar's Rest, Geranthium, okay. and Sinsbog. Okay, so. No, not like... Sinsbog. They don't really have alchemy in Sinsbog. Okay, so the next next town then. Okay, noted. Uh, Alright, mm -hmm. just wanted to make sure I had that noted down. Okay. Alright, okay. We know where all the ingredients are now. Yay! Cool. <laughs> um, just like. Awesome. got one of them. You've already got some. Yeah, we got some of them. Yay. You got two, right? Yeah, we got yeah. three, including the glimmer weave. Nice. True. Yeah. That. yeah. Um, just real quick, uh, is there any place that I can buy thieves tools? No. Unfortunately not, because this... Well, okay. Probably the military... Uh, near the military section of the trading. Okay. Of the crafting district. Right. Um, 
they don't really sell a whole lot to adventurers. Right. Because there's the space that's about telling people just no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Okay. Mean, let's let's be real. What okay they, I'm... they're confident enough to sell you at least three. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um uh how much uh would that be? One moment. Twenty five gold. All right, I'm definitely gonna uh, buy times this. Four is a hundred or times three is seventy five. That's good. Um all right, I'm gonna go ahead and buy them just in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna spend 75 gold. I just removed that gold from my inventory and I'm gonna add three more thieves tools to my quantity. Thanks, uh, Ruby. All right. You're awesome. Thanks for lurking. Aw, uh, yay, Ruby. Hey, Ruby, so, what's up? Speaking about Ruby, um, we might have a potential new player. Yeah. I don't want to say we do, because I don't want to, you know, force no anything pressure. or predict no anything. Yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. I only announce new players when their character sheets are done, and I know everything is set in stone. Right. Yeah. Um, well, no worries. Y'all are cute as heck. <laughs> cool. Also, I want to give Australia all the catnip in the world. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. right? <laughs> she, <laughs> she also will, wants to make it to Baxi since I said we already, well, you already talked to her, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked. Yeah. I, yeah, I was that's there. Right. I was there. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> um, so I'm, Remember, I'm, I'm really there. excited about having a new player, especially yeah. she has some bolder speed knowledge. Right. She's really good. Um, but yes. I'm excited. However, she will be part of the Saturday crew. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Because I'm not sure if digital is coming back. Right. Okay. That is something that I have to talk to him. Oh, all caps, everybody. I'm excited. Not going to lie. <laughs> yes, Ruby. That's, that's what we're looking for. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just real. <clears throat> okay. Meanwhile, I'm just getting recognized all over this. Yeah, I mean, you're you're going back to your you yeah hometown. I have unexpected Bailey, sibling rivalry. <laughs> uh, Wistaria, you kind of consider this your hometown, but like I already said, this is more like your childhood. Stop. Um, is there? Yes, is there anything else you guys like to do? Uh, <laughs> she said it all caps, she's joining. Okay, so that's I definite know. from her. I don't have think there's much else I really need, but I didn't need to buy the heck. Welcome to the club, buddy. I don't think there's really anything else I need to buy. Hey, what's up, Ruby? Thanks for following. I'm gonna, I'm Welcome gonna head to off the on my group. Own to that secret stash now, because now I'm curious. <laughs> Wait, we can't come with you? I mean, I don't know if you guys want to still shop or not. I'm just gonna no. do that now. <laughs> I think we're done shopping, right? Yeah. Girls trip. I just wanted the hair accessories. I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Secret base. Here we go. Hell yeah. So, <laughs> put it gently, it's in the backyard of the library. Um. So. Thanks I for the emails, lovely. Telling stories like, oh, I read a good book here. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good spot for the sun. Yeah. So as you pass a few trees, uh, there's a stone, circular stone platform. Right. Uh, and beside of it is a old tree stump. Listeria, well, you remember a giant tree here. <coughs> And your oh. father took you there when, when he was able to hold you as a child. Like, when you were, like, four or so. Oh. Explaining the magics of it. Um, roll and... a history check, if you remember it. Okay. Cool. Oh! Apparently not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Wow. That's sad. That's so sad. <laughs> oh You're caught up in your memories right now. <laughs> oh my god, Xander uh, so Alameo, welcome. You can do a arcana check on it if you'd like. Since yeah. you feel a magic presence or magic importance coming from it. Hell yeah. Definitely gonna do that. <laughs> like, this is a tree. <laughs> I mean, I did okay, I guess. Only because I had a pl plus five. So you found a sorcerer's seal on the side of it. Oh. This can take you back to Bravos on the outskirts of Bravos. So you can get to your airship without wasting three days. What? Oh, okay. Excellent. That's nice. Okay. So, so we have an excuse to come we, back here then after the... <laughs> we can say Amaru has been with you this whole time if you so do choose yeah, that's fine. to leave right now. Right. Yeah. But I'm not pressuring you to leave right now. Okay. Don't we, need, don't we need to go to... Do, don't we need to go to... Library! Then city? Or are we like... What's going on? You can... <laughs> you, well, you are at Wistaria's sashing place. So, Astaria, you know where your stash is. Just roll a investigation to see if it's still there. Okay. <clears throat> is it? Yes. yes. Woo! <laughs> I was gonna. I was about to be so worried. But... I know. I'm like, is it? <laughs> Astaria, you have one ounce of catnip. Oh gosh! Really? You had it. Okay, ounce of catnip. All right. Yes. Well. Uh. One book of uh, evocation for beginners. Okay. A book of necromancy. Okay, necromancy. Written in dwarvish. Ooh. And a airship handbook. Sorry, Zander, I'm looking for uh, a map right now. I'm trying to find a map. Um, <laughs> thanks for all the emotes and the love, Xander. I love you, man. Thanks There's for coming by. There's a reason by. I mean, no anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this will be useful. Yeah, so it's the catnip. Cat, the catnip can oh wait. The catnip can wait. <laughs> it still seems to be in excellent condition. Okay, you, you can stop now. <laughs> Don't it's in one of those, uh, like, alchemy vials. Oh, uh, okay. Vials, where it's like cork at the top. So it's you airtight. It's yeah, you stuck, it, trick. you stuck it from your parents' room when you were a kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that would be me. <laughs> That's so funny about this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was sneaky kitty anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright. Well, you also that's... found your childhood journal. Oh, okay. I had that. Okay. What happened in the journal? Oh, great. Well, I figured you would have a journal since you, you know. I'm a hermit. I... <laughs> well, before that, as a kid, you know, busy home life. You had to make your own time for seclusion. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like for your own time, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, okay. I can continue the journal. Like it's been several years. Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your last entry was when uh, right before you moved. Okay. Because you oh. couldn't get to your stash when you moved. Right. They would have been like, "All right, we're leaving," and I'd be like, "No." Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, now you can carry on from where you left off. Yay! All right, cool. Gives you something to do during camp time, doesn't it? Yes, something. Besides reading. But I have books. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you guys like to do now? Okay, so I think, I think that's about it, right? That we need... Mm. Um, I think we should wait before we go going, 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 because like um, we can't forget 
and Maru and my brother. And oh, my brother okay. Thank right. you for reminding me. Uh, so... Is, is he alright? Did you give Amaru a meeting place in town? Okay. Or you guys can go to the tavern to see if you can find him there. Because you do remember your brother Kane saying that he was going to the tavern to pick up his companions. Yeah. I'll go. Okay. We can like, go over that then. Sounds but... good. Alright. Plus, you guys can always pick up a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. And is he in the tavern with his adventuring joint adventuring buddies? Yes. Um so they are in the middle of a like a great joke because they're all laughing and Amaru sees you and uh, he says, Ah Sela, Solo, Wastaria, come sit. Uh, okay. And he, he pours you a tall glass of wine each. Oh my god. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, are we rolling constitution? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to drink at all. Uh, no. Gonna... <laughs> I definitely do. Hold on. So I'm looking for my constitution. I'm gonna go for it, I guess. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did great. Hell yeah. Okay, well, you, you downed it all easily and you let out a loud belch. He said, ah, oh, delicious. Oh, As Solo you... did, did a great cost. Okay. I Sorry, y'all. I didn't realize I was muted. Oh, gosh. I know. I've literally <laughs> been talking to you guys this whole time. Sorry, you I made a terrible drunk. mistake. <laughs> I guess I. I... I guess you were. I guess you could hardly stand like, up. I guess Kane's just like, that's my sister for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Staria, okay. the lightweight, is almost <laughs> under the table, like, <laughs> melting out of her chair. We. <laughs> <laughs> we just made it. <laughs> One too many tequila shots. Right. <laughs> She makes me think of that big, 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 uh, big hero sex and low battery Baymax. <laughs> and they play it like low battery Baymax drunk. Oh, okay. And they, and they come in, and hero comes in through the door with Baymax, and Baymax is like, Wee! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's pretty like, much the story up, right now. It's like, like I went up to his room. Oh my gosh. Like, this scene is so funny. And it's like, oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm derailing. Peer pressure, peer pressure. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, they, they, come in, they, come, they come home and uh, Bay Max is like, we jumped out a window. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's oh, cute. <laughs> oh, I love Big Hero 6. Great movie. It is so, really cute. Uh, oh, Kane buy... So Kane buys six uh, bottles of wine and says, Come, Thela. We are off on an adventure. <laughs> and he uh, <laughs> slaps Emaru as in a good you're, game you're, kind of way. Like, you're, yeah! You're, you're... <laughs> you're <laughs> Kane is mighty eager to adventure with... <laughs> yeah, with six bottles of fucking wine. <laughs> like, he hands, he hands one to each of you. Oh, God. Why Why would he hand it to me? I'm barely... <laughs> not, not, not you, Astaria. He said, okay. Miss, you, you had enough. <laughs> give you a nice little head pat. Aww. <laughs> He's like, you're just a wee cat. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's about sunset now. Um, and and uh, you guys 
are you guys deciding to head to the teleporter? Yeah. Alright. Because we need to get the, the airship to get to the next city, right? Right. Right. So, from Solo's earlier... Oh, um, Amaro's back. Arc. Amaro's back. Hold it. I think he might join the chat again. I don't know. He just joined the... He joined the VTT. Yeah. Okay. So I was finding a clip... A clip I was finding a clip of low battery Baymax. Just <laughs> funny as shit. <laughs> this is you. This is you right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna link it into the Ninja Dragon chat. Oh my goodness. It's so funny. <laughs> We jumped out a window! <laughs> <laughs> it is, sorry, it's so funny. <laughs> Alright, so... It? Are you watching it? I watched it. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that's how that's how drunk Starry is right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> between uh, Solo, Thela, and Nymph, and some of the newer party members, they're all supporting Staria. Oh god, it takes that many to me, oh gosh. You're a fucking wizard, Mustaria. Of course. Yeah. You start waving your hand and, and chanting ancient words, shit's gonna happen. Literally. <laughs> I'm a dangerous drunk, okay. <laughs> yes. You're right. Okay, okay, Mustaria, spin the town before you do something. I'm not saying you have done it, I'm saying it's possible. It's possible. I could explode something, okay. Cast fireball by accident in the middle of the fucking woods. I, I could, I do have that wand, anyway. <laughs> so, um, from Solo's check earlier, all you have to do oh. is focus on a clear image of Bravos in your mind. Oh gosh, how am I gonna do this? Oh, wait, um, the next point. Just someone could hold somebody okay. who can't do it. So, okay. Astraga, okay. you are just enjoying the sunset and the nice summer breeze. How does it? Well, it's actually like fall breeze, do but we, still. Do we need to roll anything or? I'm not. Um, no. <laughs> Each of you have teleported there. Out, okay. on the I'm holding Astraga. I'm looking after Astraga right now. So... Uh, well, Astraga gets sick all over you. Oh gosh! I don't care. I don't care. No. I oh. don't care. Okay. Mustari, you look down at your robe like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You can wash it. You can wash it. You're good. We, we both need to wash it. Okay. We'll do. We'll do that at, back at the airship. <laughs> um. So you notice, uh, as you enter in town, some of the pirates from Zul's crew, uh, were. We're not only helping the town, yeah. but we're actually actively looking for you. Yeah. Since oh. you you were supposed to be back, like yeah. a couple of days ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ria. We, uh, we got caught up. We got we got held up by a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, Zul says, at least at least, you're okay. Yeah. Um, we we have we have we have new members. Ah. Oh, um, do I do I do I just know Kane or do I know his adventuring? Well, so his adventuring party are three of them are elves. Yeah. Like what else like you? Yeah. And the other one is a uh, half elf. Right. Like. Um. <laughs> is it, so, is it a, are they a half? 
high elf or a half wood elf? Um. Half elf. Hmm? Half elf. You cut. You're cutting out. Yeah. Robotic. Oh. Uh, half drow. Half drow. Okay. Hello? Yeah, you sound good now. Yeah. Am I still cutting no. out? No. You sound okay. You, you were sounding good, then you went kind of robotic, and then <laughs> it was like it was like it was like watching. Yeah, I think you're good now. Half. Alrighty, half so. This is this is my brother Kate. Uh, she makes a point. And uh, I let. I, I'm gonna let Kane introduce his buddies because I feel like Kane would know them way better than I do. Yes, you know? so. The first uh, two are. Hold on. Give me one moment, please. Yeah, you're good. Music going, but didn't. Uh, Fallon Deer, Evergreen, Blade Farrell, Sun Shadow, uh, Evernon, Night Breeze, and then Larry Arrow, Dark Moon. Okay. I'm back. Uh, okay. their, their party name is the uh, Spitting Turtle. I'm sorry, the Angry Turtle. The Angry right. Turtle. Yes. Because the Kane's uh, party. Which yes, Kane's okay. party. Yes. Uh, their first ship got ate by a dragon turtle off the coast of, uh, from the Dwarven Kingdom off the coast ah. from there. Right. So that traumatized them. Ah. Well, I should say they are the survivors of a dragon turtle attack. And, uh, okay. So they trauma bonded and formed a uh, venturing party. Nice. Right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. So you are now on the dragon's heart. Uh, it is ready to set sail. At your command. Hell yeah. Uh, Zul gives. Bela, um, mm -hmm. do, 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 a sp talking stone, or actually, there, it, it's like a magic item walkie-talkie. Oh, so what am I, what am I adding? A sending stone. Oh, oh, a sending stone, like, like, yeah. Will's, like Will's eye, right? Yes, yes, pretty much like Will's eye. Yeah. Except you can't see them. It's pretty much within a certain it's, distance it's, you're able it's to communicate. Just the one sending stone, right? Yeah. I mean, I have I have message, so. Mhm. Mm uh, this is the shape of a dove. Uh, and he said, uh, he, he made this especially for you, Bela. Oh, thank Aww. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, he says this is goodbye for now, because he has business <clears throat> to the north. Right. In uh, in Porthos. Right. Uh, but he says that he'll probably see you when you least expect it. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Me well came from you, like, okay, did <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn to start something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, um, he takes off with his airship. Uh, and you are left in the harbor. So currently, like I said, uh, early, earlier by your airship, 
it could hover about 10 feet above right. any surface right. except for uh, lava because the heat right. would probably melt through the hole. Oh, yeah, I totally yeah. forgot about those crystals. Yes, which is yeah. a big quest <laughs> that you guys need to do while you're yeah. in the Gnome City. Yeah. Um, okay. Because, well, I'll explain there. Yeah. So, yeah. do you guys decide to take off? I think if yeah. we're done here for now, we should probably take off. Yeah, I think we're I mean, ready. If you would need anything, you're headed to the like second largest city in the fucking world. Yeah, so I that's think you should true. be set. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're set. <clears throat> uh, roll a survival check. Oh dear. Okay. Um. All right. Am I, am I well, sober actually, enough? To... You just tell the navigator. Um. This would take you. Ha. Ah, all right. Well, Staria <laughs> knows exactly where to go. Hell yeah. 19. So I got a 19 as well. We all yeah. roll high. We know where we're going. We got great sense of direction. Yeah. <laughs> so you charted this out with the navigator long beforehand, and you're just right. following through the plan at this all point. Right. Um, this will take you about uh, three days in game. Right. But I'm going to fast forward it and end the session with you guys arriving in the city, if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Hey, yeah. It's fine. fine by me. I don't mind. So, as you enter the city, it is inside of a cliff face that opens up. That once was the Underdark. Um, you kind of put two and two together because you see remnants of a large city, almost invisible parts of the ocean. As you get right. closer, you see these at least eight spires that come out of the water, and there are cables attached to three of the larger ones that hold like mining uh, elevators. Mm. Right. That actively move in between the towers uh, from the the slower city that's half submerged. And the city above, which is on the cliff sides. Right. Before you, inside of the rock face, straight ahead of you, is something of wonders. It seems to be several spiral spiraling uh, objects encased in glass. Right. And it seems to be it's making a slight hum noise. Right. Um, even from this distance, like almost a mile away. But as you're pulling up to this half submerged, uh, you only say that because you, like I said, even in the shadows, you see like neighborhoods, districts, like we're talking a city that held at least a million people yeah. underwater. Right. So the sign says uh, Fife and Shire Lower City right. welcomes you. <clears throat> so we're going to end it here. Mm. Um, because I have a lot more planned and I can't really get that started until I have more time. Right. So, right. Totally fair. Um, we, you guys accomplished a lot this session, even though it was kind of shoppy. Like, yeah. Solo, I, I don't just be bog, bogging you mm -hmm. until like next Wednesday. Yeah. But emotional damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like how you added that. Yeah. Actual romance for me. It's just like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, no, a place to avoid. Noted. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm not going there. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> That's I funny. Check it out. But wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, 
Matt Deaton. Also, with you. also met a teen hood lover of. True. Yeah. True. This Whoa. was fun. I had a lot of fun. This is fun. Yes. This is basically yeah. girls' night. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Pretty <much. laughs> yes. Pretty much. Um, but uh, I did take into consideration more cosmetic places as well as um, yeah, more stores. There's more stores in this yeah. city yeah. Uh, than in previous campaigns, even. Like, uh, as much as it would be nice, we still get, we still get potion ingredients. Yeah, yeah. which was <laughs> huge, was like, huge, you know, huge. At least you know that there's going to be more in this city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's um, true. We also knew to where to find the phoenix feather, too. Yeah. Yes. Gosh, it has to be uh, the queen, though. Oh, my goodness. The question is, will the queen give it to us? <laughs> Maybe in exchange for uh, the Gnomish history book? <laughs> Who knows? So, and because it is... The... A lot of the story rests on your shoulders. Don't fuck it up. Okay. I'm kidding. It is. Like... But you guys literally have like 90% of the story quests. So. Oh no. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're, they're just kind of fighting in the other. The other. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, was, it, was it a homeless person they're fighting? <laughs> oh, so you... the crackhead. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, that was hilarious, as, by the way. As you may know, uh, the Dragon Slayer, since you were all there, um, yeah, was in a abandoned gas station, which was a Seven Eleven. So Xander was like, "Man, I want to fight a crackhead." <laughs> 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 so as soon as he said that, all I can think of was like that meme, that black dude standing outside that dude's house and said, yo, hair is whack. Yo, oh, right. Is whack. <laughs> you know about? Yeah. That's yeah. I think of. <laughs> oh, I think I'm glad I showed you that Baymax clip. I mean, I remembered it, but yeah, that, that's pretty much me. <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> yes. Hundred percent yes. <laughs> the fact that you made me think of low low battery. <laughs> now I don't know from experience because I've never been drunk, but I have a feeling yes, that would be me. <laughs> we jumped out a window. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright. This was a good session. Yeah, this was yeah, a really good was session. Fun. That was um, fun. So, I'm going to make a ship roster for you. Uh, yeah. Probably you around Friday. Through. I'll, I'll okay. post it. Yeah. Um, but you, ha you still have eight more slots to fill. Right. Uh, so, when you are doing ship combat, yeah, you, you can use one of your actions to be like, hey, cannoners, shoot on this side, right. or shoot on that side, or board, or ram them, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, okay. So, also keep in mind that you guys are going to keep onto the airship until you until you meet up with the rest of the party when we have our full sessions. Okay. Right. Right. So. Oh, poor, poor Mac. I, I feel bad for his character. I'm like, why? Why is this character always getting beaten up? <laughs> right? You gotta get him another set of clothes. Like, <laughs> he lost a boot. <laughs> I'm sure he got from, like, the second or third session. Yeah. It was a nice shirt, too. It was like, a really nice shirt. Yeah. I was sad. I was even sad it got torn up. Uh, oh my god. Me. Okay. But, um... Right. Setting news. We're gonna get a new player. Um, Ruby said that she was gonna be joining. She said that at 9.10 of my stream. 
about hey. a half hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, something to look forward to uh, for our main sessions. Our yeah. Our session, I should say. Yeah. For sure. Uh, during that, we might be... Don't think that you're necessarily stuck, except for Pole Buster, since you're kind of stuck in this time block. What do you mean? Like, you said that this one stays at this time was the best for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You're, right. you're, you're stuck in this time block. But however, your, your group mates may switch, depending on quests and next time we all meet. Right. Or right. you all meet. So just right. keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have any questions uh, or follow-ups on... Hi, Poxify! Thanks for coming in, man. In Thanks for all the Please fucking emo hype in the so chat. Was, I was curious about how you were planning that romantic scene in the store. I was curious how you are going to pull that off. I was just like, I'm not going. <laughs> 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 how I'll are you going to play soon. that? I will <laughs> get you soon enough. <laughs> Thanks so much oh, for yeah. all the love. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah, just filling my chat no, with love. Thanks Taylor, so you're much, man. Romancing on the captain. No, I said not romancing. Oh yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I know I'm romancing the I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the only single. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been approached. <laughs> Who needs the cat lady when you are the cat lady? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, please don't cry. Oh my god. Why would I cry? What? <laughs> I'm a cute fluffy cat. What do I have to cry about? <laughs> Aww. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. I just want you to take that the wrong way. I'm like, I'm like, hey. 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 Puking on yourself and me, maybe. <laughs> By the way, for the record, it, it was mostly hair from her grooming herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> mostly mostly me being out. seen. That'll watch out. Um, and your, your fur just got brushed by Thela's mom, so you just... Oh, she did leave you... Uh, a comb, though. Yeah. I did forget that. Uh, did you yeah. add it to your inventory? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I'll make it So it's a gold butterfly comb. Ooh. Wait, I feel like that should be familiar. Like, from Mulan? No. Like, from my imagination. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm sure there was one in Mulan. There was something. No, there wasn't a butterfly. It was a, it was a flower, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I know what you mean, yeah. Mulan, I have seen. Not, I haven't seen the live-action, I hear the live-action shit. <laughs> I, I think I did watch the live-action. I don't, I don't remember it being very good. The only, like, the only really, like, live-action ones I've seen, live-action remakes I've seen, the Beauty and the, Be Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and Lion King. Mm. I liked the Beauty and the Beast and the Aladdin ones, but the Lion King one, was very disappointing. <laughs> oh, I didn't the fuck see that you one. Do a live action Lion King where they're all goddamn animals. I know, right? Like it's not even a true live action. It's more like three D rendered. Right. Like more advanced yeah. graphics Lion yeah. King. <laughs> yeah, like but no. We're talking like Planet of the Apes type shit. I was I was disappointed with the Lion King one though. I wasn't sure how to interpret the Alice in Wonderland ones, but I kind of like the direction they took it. Oh, Tim Buttons? Yeah. Oh, Tim yeah. Buttons. I actually love those. Yeah, I, I, I liked it. Yet, but I love the first one. Rest in peace, They're... Alan Rickman. I know, <sighs> Alan Rickman. Poor guy. He was always the bad guy. He, he, he... Uh... It's not in Dogma. And, in, uh, and, and Alice in Wonderland, he was a captain. Yeah. <laughs> He was, a cat he was a neutral party at that point. <laughs> yeah, I like I liked that one. Yeah. I've seen the sequel yet. Is the sequel any good? It, it's it's pretty fun. I like it. I like the direction they took Alex's Alice's character because 
you know, the books are like like a child becoming an adult, and she's just like she's become her own person now, and she's more right. self assured, and it's 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 a lot of good character growth. I don't know why people don't like it. Okay, well, uh, uh, I, will, I will look like, into watching it. I will look into watching it then. Yeah. And, and yeah. Hmm. I'm just like, and the real Alice Little was was actually a brunette. So it's like when people that complain about the hair being too dark, it's just like actually, historically, it would have been darker. Anyway, so like, so like the um, the the American McGee's Alice games got the hair color right. They got the hair color, but again, it was actually wavy too. So it would have been actually curly like the Alice in the movie. So yeah. it's like, it, 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 it. To be fair, I'm I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna give them the liberties because it's like this dark, twisted hack and slash version of Alice in Wonderland. So That's like, true. So the, the straight hair kind of goes with. I'm gonna goes give with them the liberties. Mood. Yeah. I love the dresses too. I love the dresses. That reminds me. I I I mean, I used to have it on PlayStation Three. I didn't finish it. We got to like the Queen of Hearts round. <gasps> you didn't finish the game? Oh, it was so good. Uh, but uh, you'll be pleased to know that it was on sale recently on Steam. Down uh, to one quid thirty-three. I I almost maxed out all the it. weapons. I love. Oh. I bought it off of Steam on Steam while it was on uh, sale. Are you so, gonna play it? Are you gonna? At play some point. It? At some point, yes. <laughs> There are some jumps that are really challenging though, like, yeah, oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. I still remember the one in the, the cards level that was yeah. really specially timed where you had to do it exactly right, otherwise you had, like, uh, those, missed those the jump. Fucking, don't even get me started on the fucking vault of flies. <laughs> Alright, so, y'all. I'm gonna... <laughs> we're, we're, we're nerding out. out. We're nerding out. <laughs> no! No, you're t you guys are totally fine. I'm just exhausted. I don't know. I've been sleeping a lot lately, and the weather's weird. So no. I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go uh, try to get myself some food, probably. Okay. Yes. Good point. Thanks for playing with me, guys. Like this was fun. I always love it. No, this this was great. This this cheered me up. I was so angry earlier. I was. Just... Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that this cheered you up. Alex. Yeah. Yeah. The people I'm, I'm were. I'm glad you did stop on by. The yeah, me too. It's been absolutely madness. Like, mm. right. Uh, I'm upset with both HR and short-term disability at this point. It's just like great. Yeah. <laughs> None of you are doing your jobs. It's wonderful. Let me know when you do. God. Honestly, <laughs> why does that not even surprise me? I know, right? Like, of course, American healthcare system terrible. <sighs> Why, why did what well and they just was like every, this is a point for everyone but it bothers me that they made it so fucking expensive but like I have I have <clears throat> one of my uh, a friend of mine that lives in America she's in a wheelchair but like, mm -hmm. she's, and uh, it's like absolutely ridiculous mm -hmm. She's gone through like so much bullshit, as you can probably imagine. I, I can imagine. Yes, not every building is compatible. There's no. less stairs, and even and, the parts that say that they are, it's, it's not. Not really. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just like, like, if you um, don't have help, you, you, oh gosh, I can't imagine. Like she has, like she has a little bit of movement, but she sits and mostly uses a wheelchair yeah she like uses her walker sometimes and uh she'll like do a little do a bit of some swimming and uh some gym stuff but all right guys um we're gonna go ahead and end stream now usually around this time i would um raid out but i'm not really feeling a raid today so we're just gonna chill out and go ahead and end stream um real quick i just wanted to let everybody know that i should be streaming again tomorrow most likely um probably gen like around the same time so i started a couple hours ago i'll probably start around the same time um or possibly later in the day tomorrow um and we'll probably play some walking dead maybe some life is strange 
Honestly, I don't really want to end stream, but I've got to get some food and some rest. Um, I may come back on stream a little bit later. We'll see. Um, but definitely look out for me tomorrow, guys. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. Let me go through the list. Um, Luke came by. Mac dropped some emotes in the chat. We got a follow by KCUFT Population. Ming Ming Panda came by. Rusty came by. Triv came by. Ruby's follows. Xander's been here. Hypoxify. Guys, thank you so much for dropping some emotes in the chat and giving me so much love. Um, I really love you guys and you guys make the dream work for real. All right. Look for me tomorrow. I will talk to you later. Bye.